this right now. All right. Everybody just relax. See? This is some kind of coincidence. That's what happened to me. And how the fuck is going on? Yo, how's things, my brother? Never seen a drug like this. Claire used to broadcast from somewhere around here. That's all I've got, I'm afraid. Bloody analog technology. We better find it quick. The girls made enemies. And if we can find her this easily, so can they. away with this. I'd love to listen to you moan all day, but perhaps investigating her murder would be a better use of our time. Bang on, Bagley. Best to take it out on the bastards that did this. Let's have a look. Found something else, Bagley. Several individuals. Boots rather than shoes. One with a tread unique to a certain paramilitary supplier. I think it's from their autumn collection. Guessing they supply Albion with their gear. Graffiti's a bit much, don't you think, Bagley? It's kind of weird. Claire did release several podcasts critical of Clan Kelly, which you'd think they'd be used to by now. They're a criminal gang. They shouldn't expect flowers and thank you notes. I doubt that even Clan Kelly thugs are stupid enough to sign their work, though. Bastards took all her gear, but missed her tablet. Bags, can you get anything off it? 
tablet unlocked. Claire seems to have logged conversations on it. Okay, you've agreed to speak on the record. You are an intelligence technician at Albion and work closely with Nigel Cass, correct, Mr...? Just you. I can't believe I'm doing this. If they were to find out. I know. Only have to step outside to see how Albion treats people. What do you have for us? Proof that... <laughs> Proof that Nigel Cass was complicit in the bombings. What? <laughs> but that's... Here, transfer it to this secure storage drive. How solid is this information? It's a recording of him talking to some... <gasps> security, drop your weapons! Gather all our equipment and get it to the carousel. Do no, take that wall. Then get rid of this body. She can stay here. <laughs> Gang vengeance is an horrible crime, ain't it? Fuck me. Cass sent a squad of his goons for Claire and that other bloke. That recording's got to be the real deal. Bastard knew about the bombings. Albion must have Claire's equipment then, along with the audio file evidence. Yeah, with that dirt, we can take down Cass for good. We should go to Carousel Plaza. If that's what that... that Albion dickhead meant by Carousel, it's where Albion hoards their propaganda. Sounds like as good a place as any to start looking. Everyone knows her name, but no one knows too much about her. And we only really see her these days as a hologram. She was pretty young when she launched Broker Tech, the company that is best known for introducing Bagley to the world. Nowadays, it's hard to remember a world before Bagley. Bagley is the most advanced, significant AI of our time, and it's really blown all the other AIs that were created out of the water. And I think that what Sky Larson's done with Bagley is absolutely incredible. Yeah, I mean, I can't really imagine the optic without it. But what do you know about Sky Larson herself? Um... The stolen evidence is here somewhere. Watch out, Albion security is thicker than whoever cleaned up that crime scene. There's also a lot of them around. After what we saw at Freight One, I say all these Albion idiots deserve what's coming to them. Yes, well, let's focus on finding Claire's equipment, shall we? I think someone's shooting. following.
That was Albion's automated propaganda hub you've thrown a spanner into. Ostensibly for broadcasting safety notifications to nearby optics, really all it does is bombard them with propaganda. Or rather, it did. you about trespassing, yeah? That's right. Didn't learn your lesson, huh? Please, I was just taking a picture of the exterior for... Oh, did you hear that, mate? He was taking a picture. <laughs> a bloody picture! <laughs> now, listen here, you knob. This is going to be our final warning to you. If we ever see you coming around here again, the police are going to have to put out a missing persons report. And I think you know how effective they are these days, yeah? Oh, I understand. Thirsty for the truth? Wet your whistle with Claire Waters. Let's talk Sky. Sky Larson. Who is she anyway? What's on the agenda for Broker Tech? And what, more importantly, is Project Daybreak? So long as there are questions, I'll be looking for answers. secure storage drive, which shockingly appears not to have been tampered with, so the audio evidence is probably still intact. Come in, dispatch. Drones are en route to suspect. teammate has sought out new accommodations in an Albion holding cell. Have London rents really gotten that bad? Yeah, but that's not going to happen to me, right? Right? equipment, including her secure storage drive, which shockingly appears not to have been tampered with, so the audio evidence is probably still intact.
Damn. Shit. I know you're listening. Let's talk. We told you the Prime Minister would turn you down. Brits love to see private military contractors on foreign streets, but not their own. He's a fool! This whole city, this whole country's collapsing. The military's held together with duct tape. Police are running scared. Someone has to save the people, Nigel. Someone strong. I've already worked it out. The ideal targets are the Toan Conference, Parliament, and King's College Hospital. I'll provide overseas tech teams for logistics, but you can source the bombs yourself. Non-negotiable. It cannot trace back to me. You're forgetting something. And I'll get you access to filament, as agreed. Now go away. Now scarper or they'll kill you for sure. <sighs> Has a voice that makes you want to snap his smug bollocks in a pencil case, doesn't he? And Zero Day knew just which strings to pull to get what they wanted, didn't they? Filament. And Cass was willing to trade it for the keys to the city. Fuck. Don't know, fam. I think I always thought there was a chance for him to... Fuck! To be the man you thought he was. 
Sorry, Hamish. If that man ever existed, he's gone now. We have to get this information out there to the people. You're right. When you lot get the chance, come to Piccadilly Circus. Been working with bags on something. And this proof is just the top and we need it. Nowadays, it's hard to remember a world before Bagley. Bagley is the most advanced, significant AI of our time, and it's really blown all the other AIs that were created out of the water. And I think that what Sky Larson's done with Bagley is absolutely incredible. Yeah, I mean, I can't really imagine the optic without it. But what do you know about Sky Larson herself? Um, not a lot, other than that she's actually pretty incredible. Um, I followed her work for a long time, and she's always been pretty private person. I know that she supposedly grew up in the countryside, but there isn't actually that much more we know about her other than this tech that she's put out into the world. I've always found it a bit creepy that she's so obsessed with this idea of transhumanism. Why wouldn't you be when you've got a mind as amazing as Skye's? Why wouldn't you want to take what you've got and actually augment it by working with technology, by improving your physical self, changing your body and the world around you, implementing more technology to extend your life and really sort of extend human capabilities? You sound pretty much in love with Sky Larson, I have to say. I can't comment on that, but I am a big fan of her work. She's been one of these people that has transformed the world around us, and just watching how her mind works from afar is pretty incredible, because some of what the technology she's introduced has changed how we all live our lives, and Bagley has been this really incredible assistance to humanity as a whole. Did I ever tell you that I actually interviewed Sky Larson once? Really? I thought she never spoke. London, you've been lied to. Nigel Cass and his Albion peacekeepers intend to permanently control his city. The ideal targets are the Tone Conference, Parliament and King's College Hospital. I'll provide overseas tech teams for logistics, but you can source the bombs yourself. Non-negotiable. It cannot trace back to me. Nigel Cass collaborated with a terrorist to bomb this city. Then he set up an orbital drone program called Themis that will target you based on your stolen data. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. I've given you the truth. Do as you will. Actually, fuck that. Resist. Not bad, not bad if I do say so, innit? Hamish! Haha. <laughs> not gonna lie. Thought you'd be prettier in person. Yeah, well, can't lock myself away from the world forever. Got a lot to make up for, don't I? Besides, you sorry lot need all the help you can get. Check it. Fucking wankers! Didn't expect them to just bury their heads, did you? Sent that to every news outlet I could think of. They're gonna have it on the loop for a while. And when the people tweak to what it means, Cass is done. He'll be removed, prosecuted for high treason. They'll have no choice. We've done it. Congratulations, team. Please tell me we get a little time off now. My streaming queue has been taunting me for weeks. There is still the matter of Zero Day. You know, the rogue hacker group that conspired with Cass and Mary Kelly to blow up London. Jesus, Backley, all work and no play. Give the squad a second or two to bask in our victory. Safe to say it won't last long. I doubt this is the reaction you were expecting, but Nigel Cass is in the news again. The government has convened to review its contract with Albion. Nigel Cass himself has responded to requests that he should surrender to the authorities in a heated call with the GBB. 
to shut up and listen to me. I will not be removed by the government or anyone else. I will die first. And many will die with me. They're calling for blood. They'll have it. This city belongs to me. I am its shepherd and I will slaughter my flock before I relinquish it. Cass has barricaded himself in his White Tower headquarters and threatened to kill anyone that tries to stop him. He is heavily armed and considered extremely dangerous. Shit. He's gone off the deep end. He's liable to take it to the streets in his state. We have no choice. We have to get to White Tower and stop him. as a hologram. She was pretty young when she launched Broker Tech, the company that is best known for introducing Bagley to the world. Nowadays, it's hard to remember a world before Bagley. Bagley is the most advanced, significant AI of our time, and it's really blown all the other AIs that were created out of the water. And I think that what Sky Larson's done with Bagley is absolutely incredible. Yeah, I mean, I can't really imagine the optic without it. But what do you know about Sky Larson herself? Um, not a lot other than that she's actually pretty incredible. Um, I followed her work for a long time and she's always been a pretty private person. I know that she supposedly grew up in the countryside, but there isn't actually that much more we know about her other than this tech that she's put out into the world. I've always found it a bit creepy that she's so obsessed with this idea of transhumanism. Why wouldn't you be when you've got a mind as amazing as Sky's? Why wouldn't you want to take what you've got and actually augment it by working with technology, by improving your physical self, changing your body and the world around you, implementing more technology to extend your life and really sort of extend human capabilities? You sound pretty much in love with Sky Larson, I have to say. I can't comment on that, but I am a big fan of her work. She's been one of these people that has transformed the world around us, and just watching how her mind works from afar is pretty incredible, because some of what the technology she's introduced has changed how we all live our lives, and Bagley has been this really incredible assistance to humanity as a whole. Did I ever tell you that I actually interviewed Sky Larson once? Really? I thought she never spoke to me or anything. So this was a long time ago, back in the day, where... Nigel's got a private bunker under this place where he liked to tweak his toys. I'll bet he's barricaded himself down here. Won't be anyone but the true believers around the compound. Oh, right. Great. So we still have a mercenary warlord to deal with. Luckily, his reinforcements are limited to whoever's faffing about nearby. It certainly won't be in his lifetime if I have anything to say about it. Yo, what's 
Está crack, eh. Teammate has sought out new accommodations in an Albion holding cell. Have London rents really gotten that bad? What? They're in Hotel Albion, so it's up to me, right? Fine. Coming in. Sweep in the area. Come, begin a search. Backside for shot! <laughs> Finally shown its face. Oh. What more can we expect from cowards? Yes. Come to destroy the one man able to resist their two.
Men and women of Albion, your true enemy has finally shown its face. Well, its masked face. But what more can we expect than cowards? Dead Come to destroy the one man able to resist their tyranny. Who do you think Project Dennis would have targeted first? They're saving their own skins, nothing more. I found the answer to our problem and I will not stop until it's brought to fruition. Are you sure that's what you want to come up against? Do you want to test my resolve? Well then, come try. That takes care of security. You can now access the elevator to the bunker.
failure to comply will result in forceful intervention. Surrender yourself. So you've come to end it, have you, DeadSec? But haven't you figured it out yet? What our mutual acquaintance Zero Day set in motion? My inevitable reign and your downfall. This is how it will always end. The natural order of people like me and people like you. I am the law. Come down. Let me show you. stations to get through that armor. Complete the network bypass.
not hear Bagley? Complete the network bypass to power up the EMP stations. Station. Heads up. He's called in reinforcements.
power up the EMP station. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Let's end this. is ready to be London's protectors. Well, you clearly aren't. Oh, it's a thankless burden. And the people will hate you for it in the end. Even when it's for their own bloody good. <laughs> people can decide for themselves what's best for them. <sighs> there it is. That six fatal flaw, your faith in people. You recruit all types, don't you, straight off the streets? Well, I used to have faith in people, too. I got a good man killed once. strikes Nigel Cass off the list. Shame. I think he would have made a smashing zero day. We have plenty of work still to do. Cass may be gone, but Albion won't disappear that easily. Expect the powers that be to find fresh excuses to keep them on the streets. That said, I think we've earned ourselves a bit of a rest. From zero day as well. <laughs>